All right, good morning. Welcome back to my channel. I have an exciting show for you today. I'm sh giving out science awards. I do it usually, I've done the last couple years, and what it is is the best curriculum and science-related products or books that I have found, and remember, I bought them all. I want a really strong curriculum for my kids, science curriculum, because I want them to go to college at 12, as in take one course concurrently with high school. Now my children are special needs, so it's not like there's some genius children. It's not like I'm forcing a big course load on them. I just read a book. I forget what the book's called, but I'll put it down in the comments. And anyway, so I have this whole plan. So I really need a strong science curriculum that doesn't waste time. So I'm gonna show you some of my favorite science products. And now the key is to when pursuing higher education is to do it in an area of interest for them to really get them to go deep into that area of interest. So for my one son, it's he loves geology and he loves robotics and the other one engineering, architecture, specifically architecture mostly regarding that. So, okay, so before I get into the awards, I'm gonna show you some products of the day, some products that I love. Oh, and at the end of the video, I'm gonna show you one product I don't like, a product, a, a book, a product that I would not I would not get again, okay? This is one of the first products here that I'm gonna show you today. Where's the paper for it? It's a molecular model kit. So take a look at that. So I pull it out and I usually pull this out with the elements book. Some of the science products I have, I'm not showing you today, but I have showed you the elements book before. It's $11, it's amazing. This is the molecular model kit. And so you can just build atoms. Look at some of these or any creatures you want, creations you want, but like you look and it says, um, what color white is used for hydrogen whole so it's got a lot of some information about building it And then you can look at where you'd find hydrogen today carbon today oxygen today nitrogen today Where you would find it today by looking in the elements book. So that's kind of how I taught this One of the other products I want to show you today, which also wins an award for best science flashcards Best science flashcards. I'm going to show you them on the screen because again, I can't find them I I'm trying to get more organized where I can actually find some of my products I don't know if anyone else has that problem if you have any suggestions on how to get organized besides get rid of some some homeschool stuff please let me know okay so let's get into so a few more books i have a lot of books to show you today because there's a lot of books that in my mind win awards and that i think are great books so this is by the critical thinking company i've showed you it before it's for grade pre-k through two and so what it does is basically you're gonna learn about invertebrates, vertebrates and invertebrates, and invertebrates. So you're gonna study them. And then there's just some kind of, some challenge questions regarding them. Some interesting activities that you can do when you're sitting somewhere, you know, like you just pull them out and go through them. I don't know, breakfast, someone's sitting on your lap going through them, you're waiting at a doctor's office, why not? So they're kind of like challenges. So that's why I like them. That's why I like this book and I'm excited to use this book. Another book that I have showed you before is Dr. Bonified. There's four books. This is The Bones of the Hand, Arm, and Shoulder. This is book one. It actually comes with um, the 3D glasses at the back. Is that what they're called? 3D glasses. So that because there's certain scenes in here that you'll be able to look at with those glasses. Oh, it's got a crossword in there. See, here's one of them. And so it's got different bones, clavicle, humerus, radius, scapulus, ulna. So I think if you have a budding... Someone who's interested in, I don't know, the human body, because isn't it fascinating? Which one of the apps I want to talk about today, there's an app called, called Human Body by TinyBot. The best science apps for me. I have three. One is Inventioneers, where you go and you have to problem solve and really use critical thinking to try and get this object to where it's supposed to be by using pulleys and using different things. And there's a free version, which is amazing, but the full version is only $4.99. So I think that is a win. The second app is Human Body by TinyBot, where you zoom in on the human body. And so it's kind of cool to see the lungs. And then at the bottom, there's legs and you can hit the legs. So it shows you what it's like, what the heart does, for example, when you're walking or exercising. And a third app, which would get an honorable mention, but be good enough in its own, is the PBS Kids app. There's one, oh, there's three, as far as I know, there's three PBS Kids app. And one is an engineering app. And so they have different activities like the seasons and shadows and a bunch of science related, engineering related things um, to do. So that I think those are great for little kids. So of course I think the Magic School Bus is the best book series, mainly because you can start reading them and you don't have to see. So at first I started and I just read this part to the kids. And then they started to want to know what this was. And then as they get older, you can read 
these as well. So it kind of grows with you and it's a story because these are also good. These are by Kimberly Brew Baker Bradley. I don't like them as much as I do the Magic School Bus. We have a bunch of them. The reason I don't like them as much is because it's information, but it's not, a, it's not, I mean, this is like, you've bonded with these characters. You know who Albert is. You know who Miss Frizzle is. These don't really have the same concept as that. And some of them, every once in a while, some of them have just a little too much, just a little too much writing for a kid to sit there, just a little bit. Um, but not, I mean, not everyone would find that. Okay, so those are some of the best book series. This for $35, you can get the whole book series is, I think, phenomenal. It's by Usborne. The Usborne Beginner Science Collection. And so what it is, is let me show you. So this would be astronomy. Let me pick it up. So look at these galaxies. There you go. Studying stars. So it's not, it's a, a lot of, inf you can deep dive into a subject with child. It's like a mini study unit, which is how children learn best, is a mini study unit on a variety of different earthquakes, living in space, storms and hurricanes, the solar system. There's one of the human body. There's quite a few in here um, that go with this set. So it was $35 last time. It might be even cheaper now. Not really sure, but by far. So those are some of my favorite series, but this is, I guess this would be the winner. This is the winner, Real Science for Kids books. I've showed you in them. They have them in five areas. So I've gone through and I've showed you the hyosphere, the geosphere, the atmosphere. This is minerals, rocks, volcanoes. There's the biosphere again, the magnosphere, earth spheres. So let's just take a look at minerals just to show you what it's like. So it teaches some complex concepts. So this is what you would find in the Adams book, which is in the... Is it the chemistry or the physics? <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure, but the series. And so it explains, so it's very simple. One sentence per page, molecules are lined up in an orderly way. So see, very simple, which is what are rocks and dirt made of? So here's is the atmosphere. The molecules are made up of the atmosphere are nitrogen gas, oxygen gas, carbon dioxide gas, and water vapor. See, so it's, it teaches complex concepts to little kids so I think that they are and the cell that would be in biology so then there's a book on understanding the cell so that's just review see when it says review that's because there's a whole book on it so you can get this whole book series it's from Gravitas Publications they're not cheap um, but I think they're well worth the money because unfortunately you can't I have yet to see those by used or available at any library okay other series of other books and there's a company that does whole lessons plan on these. These are some of my favorite, Explore the World with Gail Gibbons. You can get them at the library. And the reason I like them is because for little kids, there's big pictures and not that many words. Big pictures, not that many words. I'm not a huge fan of a lot of text for little kids. I don't know if it's just my children, but getting them to sit still for that, this is just a lot easier when they're really young. So from seed to plant, so any books at the library by Gail Gibbons, I think are winners. This is a very interesting book. This is The Science of the Water Cycle. This is a drop around the world. Take a look at this. It's kind of intensive to do in one setting. So, but what it talks about is water, right? And all the different ways water comes into us. Look at it. See how they have the cow and how the cow gets the water and what it does and and then milk goes to a pail. And so it just has all these ways that water is used in all these different environment. So it's a very, very interesting book. I think it came with Moving Beyond the Page, that curriculum, but it's a very interesting book. One that you, I do not believe you can get at the library, but still great. My number one book, oh, this is another good book. This is um, Christian Liberty, Nature Reader. Now, this is a breakfast book. That's why I like it. Why? So these are the topics that cover insects, spiders, birds, forest life. Okay, now, take a look at it. Let me skip that, which I didn't read anyway. Shocker. Wasps. So every chapter is like two pages with a review. One and a half pages with a review. One and a half pages with a review. So it's something you can do, you know, like over the summer or just... I don't know, one chapter a day, if you will, while eating lunch. 
Okay, so the best book ever is the book that I do not have here. It is definitely the award winner. It wins every single year. It is amazing. I'm going to try and find a clip of it and show you. It is on one side has water and on the other side of the cover, the back of the book, it says earth and you open it and it deep dives into a ton of different things that go under the water and things that happen under the earth, whether biologically or man-made. I'm telling you, it's phenomenal. My mom has it right now just because it's one of the kids' favorites. So anytime she needs to pull it out. Now, another great book is 100 Questions About Space. I like this because you can put it in, in your pocket. What's a star? How do stars shine? What's the brightest star on earth? You can put it in your pocket. I mean, you can't really put it in your pocket, but you can put it in your purse and you can pull it out when someone's getting occupational therapy, when someone's getting speech, when someone, when you're sitting at a restaurant waiting for a table, wherever. Okay, let me talk about study units. So there's two types of study units. There's one that are somewhat expensive and pricey, but still good. For example, one of the study units that I think is great is by Campfire Curriculums. I'll show you a bit on the screen, if I can, the meteorology one. It's very interesting. It Two things, though, is one, so there's a Christian portion of it, Faith Talks, which you can skip, so not a problem there. Um, there is a dad section of an activity that dads can do with the kids, which A, I think is an, a novel concept, an interesting concept when it comes to homeschooling, because most of the time the moms do it. So I do think that is interesting. But if there's not a dad figure in your in your household, then that's probably not the curriculum for you. But it deals with if you were a vet for a day, if you were a zoologist for the day, if you were a meteorologist for the for the day. And so it's very interesting. So I really love that. I So I definitely think it's an award winner. Another award winner as far as cost goes, as far as, I'll, I'll show you inside. This one, these are Bonnie Rose Hudson. You know I love Bonnie Rose Hudson stuff. That's uh, my son's name on there. So take a look at this. I've never seen this before. Um, Draw and Explore Science Electricity. So let me just show you inside what it does. So it covers what a circuit breaker is, and then you can draw them if you want. We don't draw them, but a circuit breaker. So you go through this book, a fuse. There's a fuse on the other side. So I just haven't seen this covered. Now, because my son wants to work in robotics, um, we do cover, like, I, I like studying this curriculum. So a parallel circuit. And so it's easy stuff, because remember, you're learning along with your kids. I was very intimidated to do this type of stuff and to do snap circuits with my child, which I think is the um, science activity of the year would be snap circuits. Science activity of the year is snap circuits. The only reason being that it's not another, that it's not, this is if you take out blocks and magnets and building things. If you take those out, then snap circuits wins that I was very intimidated to do because I'm not sciencey at all. But when you follow the books, all you have to do is look at the picture, match the picture, and if it's not working, problem solve. Like, did I put that backwards? Is the battery still good? Stuff like that. And then you've created different circuits. You can create lights. You can create a ton of stuff. So, I th And you can buy them used on uh, Facebook on a lot of different places. So I think they're great to go along with an introduction if you're creating your own robotics curriculum, which is not per se what I'm doing, but kind of what you have to do sometimes for some topics that kids like. But let me show you another one. And this is why it's an award-winning curriculum. If you ask me, this is why it wins another awards. Now remember, that's my son's name. So it's usually, you know, so don't judge the cover by that. But look, so Bonnie Rose Hudson, she has a lot of different types of books of these. And what I like is it is perfectly designed for the age of the child. So the large intestine talks about large intestine. The liver talks about the liver talks about the kidneys, the bladder. So it's very age appropriate. It's not a ton of text. They can color that in. So that's the thing about Bonnie Rose Hudson and her things is that it's not family style where you're trying to get everybody in. So I love apologia stuff, but for little kids, I just didn't give it any awards because I just think there's just too much text. So I think it's great for older kids to deep dive into it. But just for younger kids, I just don't think I, I just like these. If I'm explaining to you why I like these better. So it's not, I, I love it all, but these, I love Bonnie Rose Hudson for her science curriculums. I just, I adore them. I think they're fantastic. Just on the different topics. I have some geography from her. I have quite a bit from her on a variety of different topics. And I think they're all great. Whatever your kids are interested in, you can, for like six bucks, you get a whole unit or $7. You get a whole unit on it and it is age appropriate. It's not like made for 12 year olds and 10 year olds and you have to find a supplemental book to try and feed them in and do that. Now I do think that um, some 
some curriculum companies do it better than others family style and family style is still great there's nothing wrong with family style but i just specifically needed something to my kids where i'm not reading a lot of text to them if they are not age ready for it let's talk early years science curriculum i have a christian and a secular one i'm going to show you the secular one on the screen on the right comes with a nature and a space one the nature one is very easy you could do it in your backyard the space one is super cool because it's you're basically writing messages and explaining to, to like an alien what your planet is like. So therefore you're discussing a bunch of things about living and non-living things and stuff like that. So again, age appropriate, $20, secular, if that's your thing, doesn't require any outside materials. So I think definitely award-winning. An alternative is, is this is a Becca. This is their science reader. I've showed it to you a million times. This covers the skin, it covers the human body, it covers um, seasons, things like that. So very simple. You could use it in kindergarten too. This is the grade, I want to say, is this the grade one? This is the grade one, but really, I think it's, I mean, you could use it in kindergarten. You could use it in junior kindergarten. Eyes. My eyes are one of get God's wonderful gifts to me. I love it because it incorporates God into here, but not a lot of Bible phrases at this particular age. That's just personal preference. And that's what I like about it. And maybe you will like that about it too. So the cat purrs in my petter. I feel her chest shake. That makes the air shake. The air makes my eardrum shake. So this, now because it's made for a Christian, Christian schools, you will see things about the school bus. You will see things about learning in school occasionally. So that's just something to keep in mind if that irritates you. It irritates me a little, but what I like too is... The experiments, the hands-on activities are very easy to do because they were designed for an entire class. And so you can have like a bunch of cubes of apples for your whole class, right? So they're very simple things that don't require a lot of, yeah, they don't require a lot of prep, which I'm all for. I don't like experiments. I don't know if anyone else is like that, like that with me. Okay, now I want to talk about some nature programs. One of the best nature programs I've ever seen is the Beautiful Feet. I think it's the seasons of field. I'm telling you, it is awesome. It's awesome because you can live in a city and really recreate some of these seasons of field things because it always has a two table one. So whatever you're studying, you can bring it to the table and they do a recipe or they do one time they froze bird seed in the shape of something to create like a little, like a frozen little wreath you could hang up on the tree for birds. Like just, they have these handicrafts in there and uh, yeah, I think it's a great program. I have a whole video on it. I'll put it at the end if, if you wanted to see a deep dive into it. The only thing I don't like is some of their books, the, the cost of the program, I generally don't care for. If you can just buy that paper part and get some of the books at the library, because some of them are available at the library. I wouldn't say 100% of the books are, but I don't know that you ever need 100% of the books for a lot of curriculums. Um, but it is, I think it's an award-winning nature program. I think it's, so I compare it to, is it the gentle and classical one? The reason I don't like the gentle and classical is because it's very intensive for little kids. Still good, but a lot of what I've read is what I also found, which is that it's just really, it's a lot of stuff and a lot of information for little, little, little kids. Your kid's not necessarily ready at, for some kids aren't ready at, you know, kindergarten one and two to really, maybe by two and three and four, they're starting to be able to sit down more and you can go over more. But again, so, and and I find kids are sometimes particular where sometimes they love studying about animals, but sometimes they love studying about space. Sometimes, so I just, it's not my favorite program and it's also somewhat pricey. So an alternative to that, I would say is the Blossom and Root one, which is not Christian, but it's still very good affordable you don't need extra books for it and it does talk about nature and deal with nature it doesn't go deep dive but another one that does a deep dive is the nature school so it's based on this book here but what i love is the company that does it is it's so affordable it is insanely affordable and comes with so many resources for each age of the child it is, even has like a 300 page coloring book for little little kids if you want so it's, it can be done family style and it covers a variety of different topics. This is the book they use. So that's the only book you need. And then you get a ton of those materials, which I will show you on the screen. So for affordability, I would say this one, for the amount of stuff you get, it's definitely award-winning too, in, in my opinion. As far as nature programs go, I do like it better than, I do like it better than gentle and classical. So this is like their textbook. Okay, let me show you 
I want to say best, I want to say, I think I called it best science kit. It is no EO science. I have a big video on it at the, I'll attach it on the end if I can remember to do all this. And it comes with simple machines. It comes with, these are interesting. So it's like grade one through three and they have five different areas. This is the physical science. So they have, I want to say three to four different areas. You can choose biology, geology, things like that on there. Well, chemistry right now and biology and physics is, a, is the three I saw. This is the physics one. So this is this guy, Max Axiom, and this is a comic book, and it's kind of interesting. I was reading it myself this morning. It's kind of interesting. I don't care for the light one too much, but it comes with four different comics. So it comes with everything in your book that you're going to need for $200, and all the experiments and supplies included in that for the $200 and all the books you need. So I really don't think you can go wrong with it, and this it comes with this as well. In there so forces of motion sound magnetism there's also a light one i couldn't find and also it does have other books i believe now this is the experiment guide and the lab manual oh shoot there's also a teacher's manual oh here it is uh hold on uh, uh. this is the instructor's guide so grades one through three not ages one through three so very clear experiment build a ramp include in the kit is two toy cars and a piece of sandpaper so from home you need some cardboard or wood planks stack of books or a chair a dishcloth and duct tape so things like look at from home is always tape scissors rulers this is my big one of the big problems and their the experiments are all very clearly the materials are all very clearly laid out very clearly laid out so it's not a hot mess. It is very easy to implement. And I believe you can buy these books separate, but for $200, I mean, you can't beat that. And then I honestly think it would be a great summer thing if every summer you covered one topic. I think the kids would just love it. So this is the experiment guide. Our question, the materials in the kit would be the prism. Hold the prism up to a window on a sunny day. What we learned. Okay, so very simple, again, very simple, which I like. It's not overwhelming. But as I was saying before, one of the problems I have with Bookshark, which is a secular company, and Sunlight, which is the Christian version of that company, is that their, their materials box is a hot mess. You've never seen a bigger hot mess. You, honest to goodness, you open that up and you were like, oh my gosh, how am I supposed to find anything in here? So it's one of the reasons that I don't care for that program. One of the many, if you see in my book. So there you go. So I think it's definitely best science kit program. Very simple, very to the point. Let me show you into my favorite, favorite, favorite curriculum that I'm going to use with my children. The reason I like it is because you can go year by year by year, which I don't think I'm going to do. I don't know. I might try it out this year because it starts in grade one. But there's also we have a K through four or a four through eight where it covers the five different building blocks of science, chemistry, biology, astronomy, and whatever the other two are. Okay, so let me show you into, I'm gonna put up the, and it also comes with exams as well. You could take a midterm, you could take exam. Do you have to? No, but you can. And um, it comes with study guides for them. I'm gonna show you this study guide. I believe it's for level one, but I'm not sure. Now let's look into, I'll show that on the screen while simultaneously showing you, this is the focus on. The one that goes year by year by year is called the building blocks over there. This is the focus on, so it deals with chemistry, whereas this deals covers all of them in one book. This hyper focuses on that particular topic. Okay, now it's the same people who made those books. Those award-winning books I've showed you. I don't know where I put them. You know what I'm talking about. Oh, they're right here. They are right here. Those books are the same people. So let's go into, this is chemistry. Okay, so it comes with a teacher's manual. Take a quick look through the teacher's manual. There's no, I actually, I think I did buy from a third party company. I think I did buy an experiment box for it, but the experiment supplies are so simple. Like chemistry every day, materials needed, watercolor paints, water in a container, paper, several pieces of paper, scissors and tape. These are my type of experiments. A magnifying glass, cotton balls, rubber bands, pencils, several food items, crackers, cheese, beans, colored M&Ms. So these are experiments I can get behind. It's doing actual chemistry with different things that makes, that really bothers me. I'm sorry, it does. I don't like experiments. I don't like chemicals. They just, 
whatever. So this is the contents of this book. So this book, again, is the teacher's manual. So let me quickly go through. So in the beginning of the teacher's manual, they have your materials at a glance and what you're going to need, okay? Materials needed for all experiments, and here is per experiment. Now remember, every book has a teacher's manual and an experiment book and a, and a, like a laboratory notebook, okay? So every area of science. So let's just choose, let us choose. So follow the rules, what are needed? Legos, small marshmallows, large marshmallows, and toothpicks. Right away, I think that's great. So how many Legos can you attach to a two-pegged Lego? How many Legos can you attach to the four-pegged Lego? So this is your objectives experiment. I the think about it and read this section of the laboratory notebook with your students, okay? And then the observe it. And you're observing it. So I like that. Look at that. Even for me, because when I read that statement, I didn't know what the heck they were talking about. And look at this. This time you can only put three toothpicks into a big marshmallow. Follow this rule to make as many different molecules as you can. So super interesting, if you ask me. Super interesting because it doesn't disturb me. <laughs> okay, so you get it. So that's kind of that part. And then you go into the laboratory notebook, which if I could find the same section, that would be great about the marshmallows. Maybe it's what, follow the rules, 29. That's what it is, 29. So this is follow the rules, because I think that's what that experiment was. Yeah, because it's how many molecules, how many, make as many different molecules as you can with the marshmallows and toothpicks. How many can you make, can you draw one? So here's the think about it section. You are going to make molecules with toothpicks and marshmallows. First, think about what you might find out, and then it's got questions. Now, the last part of this, the last part is, this is the chemistry notebook. This is the one that's hard, that's not soft back, it's, Hard and I think it's beautiful. I think it's so pretty. And it this was written by a homeschool mom. Um, in case you were like, hey, why is this so easy? It's because she didn't have now she does have a PhD. It just she didn't have she wanted to teach her kids and she didn't like what was available. So this is what you're gonna cover. What is chemistry, the chemist toolbox, atoms, molecules, molecules, me, acids and bases, acids and bases wrap, mixtures, unmixing, molecule chains, food and taste, and molecules in your body. Each of, almost every one of these sections has a book, but you don't necessarily need the book, right? Because you're doing this. But if you're doing another science curriculum, you could get those books would be my suggestion. So let's go to Adams 18, just to check it out. Oh my gosh, so pretty. Oh, so pretty. Look at that shade of pink, love it. Adams, have you ever wondered if the moon is really made out of green cheese? Have you ever thought clouds might be made of cotton candy? Have you ever wanted to know what makes carrots orange or peas green? So I just think it is, so this is kind of like the book. It's just a little more text than the book. Well, I mean a lot more text because it would stop by now. It doesn't keep going on. But see, there's your summary. So there's your chapter about that. Introduction to molecules, which is by the way, when they link arms, I like how in the book that I have, it says, which I assume it says it here, that they only link, that we're just showing linking arms here to show them that they're linked, but in real life, they, there's no arms. <laughs> the abs don't, which I appreciate because I, you know, that helps. So table salt molecule, so great. Speaking of which, speaking of which, that ice cube just reminded me, there is a science book called Ice Boy, Cube Boy. Ice Boy, Cube Boy, I'll look it up, I will show it to you. It is all about water and it's this ice cube's journey and how he, oh my gosh, it's just his life as an ice cube and how it all falls apart but then gets back together again. So it's like the cycle of water. I thought it was great. I thought it was a winner, A plus in my book. All right, there is your science award. I'd like to remind you that every time you like, I guess I watched a YouTube video on how to get more views and it said to have people like your videos that that helps the YouTube algorithm, which FYI, I don't really know what it means. Just how, why people watch your videos, I would assume. So if you could like this video, I would definitely appreciate it. Okay, so this is the product I wouldn't buy again. This is the children's encyclopedia. The reason I don't like it is I don't, a lot of curriculums use this encyclopedia, specifically Bookshark and Sunlight, I believe. I just don't like an encyclopedia because it doesn't deep dive into a topic. And I believe, especially after reading um, some of Apologia's stuff about how you need to, and, and reading some studies about how kids learn best through deep dives. So when they really go into a topic. So for example, an example would be um, if you did the birds 
study unit from uh, rabbit trails or something like that. Like really deep dive into a topic that they love, whether it's space, whether it's whatever it is. So this is just too many little topics. It's not, so I don't like it. I find it irritating because like, oh, interested in sharks. Well, let's read just two pages of sharks. Well, no thanks. No, thank you. Okay. Can you say please like and subscribe? Hey, why do you like? And hit the bell for notifications. Hit the bell, you know what that's <laughs> <laughs>